What's up guys and welcome to the part 2 of python pygame development series. So in the last video we have seen how to create a simple pygame window and also we have seen how to print the events happening on a screen and also we have downloaded our player and enemy amg files to our directory over here and today in this video we are going to actually import the enemy and player to our game over here. So without further ado let's get started. So before we get started with image insertion and all, let me just go ahead and show you the s.fill function which is used for filling a color to the pygame window. So just say s.fill 255,255,255. So the first value stands for red color and the green color and the blue color RGB values. So it will actually render a white color because all the three values are same and with equal intensity. So it will actually fill a white color. Here nothing is also because we haven't specified for the pygame to update the display. So if I say pygame dot pygame dot display dot update. So what actually happens here is that it will actually update the display. So which will make us to see the white color. So you can see uh, our background has been changed to white color. Like this you can actually change to different colors. So let me just change it to blue color right now. You can see 255 value is for blue color and you can see uh, it's now in blue color so let me just change and let me just give a red color to the screen here we are we have got a red value to the screen so likewise if i just put the value to be 0 comma 0 comma 0 it will actually render a black window So let me just leave it black for, for now. Uh, we will be having a background image later on. So now let's get started by importing the image files to our game. So player player underscore img is equal to pygame.image image dot load. It will basically load our image file player png file. And also we also have to import the enemy underscore img by game dot image dot load enemy dot png. Now note that the enemy dot png has a resolution of two thousand in the two thousand, which is actually really big considering our window size, right? So actually we have resized that. Now let me just show you by just placing that in my screen. So for placing just type in s dot split the file name actually the variable in which you loaded the file and the next parameter will be the position to which you have to place your file. Let me just go with 0, 0 from now and we'll run that. You can see our layer is here and which is really big in size. You can just show. I can show you the size of the uh, file over here. You can see it's 720 to 713. If you want it in correct sensor now, you can have it directly downloaded in resized form. But if you have problem like me, you can just go ahead and use the scale function, which is already inside PyKey. So let me just go ahead and resize its size. So player img is equal to by game dot transform dot scale scale and you will actually take the variable name first and the scale in which you want to resize to so in my case I'll just go with uh, 150 comma 150 which is a decent size so let me just run that and here we are and we have got a pretty decent size of the image so like this, I'm also going to import the enemy.png. I also resize that is equal to enemy. Oops, not enemy. It's actually by game dot transform dot scale. So let it be a 200, 200. 
and now let me just go ahead and oops enemy mg now let me just go ahead and blade our enemy to screen comma let me 20 comma 20 now if we run that you can see our alien is over here and we have our player over here now let me just go ahead and increase the distance between them and we run that again now you can see our player is over here and our enemy is over here so that's it for this video make sure if you like and subscribe to the channel the part 3 of this video will be coming up real soon where we have player moments so under the shop